Okay, so today what we want to work on is actually creating a kind of a logo for your name and then the what we'll use is for the different tips and techniques that we're going to learn through this. You're actually then going to create your logo for your superhero and you're going to uh, go back and you can add that back onto your Photoshop uh, picture of your superhero that you created previously. So. This will be pretty cool. So this is just uh, an example of something that you can end up with. Uh, this is one that I made. So let me go through and show you the steps of how we actually were able to do that. We're going to go ahead and start, uh, open up a new page, and I want to just make it landscape or horizontal. Hit OK. OK, so I did a number of different things on here in order to create that logo. The first thing that I did is I started with my uh, my star and I created my star first. So I had a red star. So I was gonna uh, select the fill first, and I'm gonna start drawing out my star. Hit Option to kind of make it uh, have that nice clean star shape, and I'm gonna draw it maybe about that big. One of the things that's really cool with Illustrator that we can do as well is once we kind of, you know, we can try to kind of center it on our artboard, but sometimes that's kind of hard. So one of the things that we can do is we can come up and we can hit this align to artboard, which are the artboard, remember, is this white rectangle. And then we can hit horizontal align, and it looks like we're already there. And then hit vertical align, and it, see it dropped it down. And now I know that my star is right in the middle. Not always crucial, but I like to just kind of make sure it's centered. It just makes it feel better if you have it centered and you can do that then as well. Okay. So again, the next thing that I did is I went ahead and I drew some smaller stars on there. And let me kind of show you how I did that. So I am going to choose a blue star here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start drawing my next star and I think I want to make it about that big so one of the other things you can notice too if I have it kind of off centered if I hit shift while I'm holding it it'll straighten it out I'm just going to drop it there I'm going to come back and I'm going to select it again what I want to make sure that I do is that I as I bring it into the middle I want to look for that green line that green line tells me that it's now centered right there Okay, so I want to, I, I, you saw in the previous one on here that I had a kind of a row of, uh, or a, a bunch of um, stars going around in like a circle shape. And actually I want to, before I even do that, I want to just, I want to make this a little bit thicker. There you go. Okay, so uh, to do that, we're going to put this circle in, and I'm going to make it, my circle, let me click off of here first so I don't change that. We're going to make our circle uh, transparent on the inside and uh, black outside. So that looks good. And I'm going to click on my circle tool. Again, as I draw my circle, if I hit shift, it's going to create a perfect circle. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. And then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to try to just position it right and let's see, is it right in the middle it's good I can again if I want to just check to make sure I can come up I, my lines already um, set up I can hit horizontal vertical looks like I had it right in the middle just to make sure though okay so a really cool feature of something you can do with Illustrator is that I can choose my star and I'm going to also hit shift and choose my circle. And what I want to do then is I want to come over and this is uh, the rotate tool. And I'm going to click on the rotate tool. Now with the rotate tool, one of the things that we can do is we can choose what point we want it to rotate around. Now that's a little bit different than Photoshop. In Photoshop we don't have that option, but in Illustrator we do. And so what I want to do is I want to actually, I want my stars to rotate around the center of that circle. 
But not only do I want it to rotate around the center of the circle, I want to create copies of the star as it rotates around. So as I go down, you'll see it says center. But before I click on the center, I'm going to hit Alt or Option on my keyboard and click on it. And what it's going to do is it's going to give me this option as far as how I want to rotate that. Now, again, uh, one of the things to think about as we do it this way is that a circle is 360 degrees. So you're going to need to find, um, put in an angle that is, uh, can go into 360 degrees evenly. So something like 45, 60, 90, so forth, um, ones that would go in evenly. Make sure you click on preview. You can see how it's going to rotate. And you see how it rotated around the center point here. But I also want to hit copy. And what that's going to do is it's going to copy my star. You can see I maybe made my star a little bit bigger than in my previous one. So it does have a little bit of overlap. So I think actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to just move this. Oops. I'm going to just move this star up a little bit to give it a little bit more separation. Maybe about there. I like that better. All right, so let's do that again. So let's click on our star. Let's click on our circle. Go over to rotate. Go over, find the center. Hit option. Click on it. I think this is going to work out a lot better. Hit copy, and there you go. So we've got a star. They don't overlap anymore. Okay. So one of the really another cool feature though that we can do is we can hit Command and D, and it's going to just duplicate that all the way around, and it puts those in because I made sure to uh, use a degree that would fit inside of there. It went right back into uh, where I started. And it filled it right in, filled in that shape nice, uh, really nice. Okay. Uh, I think I want my circle, though, to be behind everything. And I do want to keep it in there. So there's a couple ways I can go about that. I can open up my Layers panel, and I can go look. And one of the things that happened, though, is it made all these extra circles when I duplicated this. So I can hide just by um, taking those off, all of those, and I'm going to take this last one, and I'm going to put it underneath my, if I can, well, maybe I'll do it this way, put it so that circles at the bottom, okay, or if you like to do uh, some shortcuts, you could select your circle, do a two finger click on it, do a range and hit send to back and it would put it all the way in the back as well. That way now my circles in the back, my star looks like it's over the top of it and I think that looks pretty good. Okay. Another really cool feature of Illustrator is you have what's called symbols and you can add in symbols that they've already had built into Illustrator. They have a few options that come up initially but if you go over to this little drop-down menu here, you can go over to Open Symbol Library, and we want to choose the Regal Vector Pack. Obviously, you could go in. You could see they have tons of options as far as ones that are already built into the program. And feel free to go in and check out any of these other ones as well. But for now, I want to use the Regal Vector Pack. And you see it brings up some of these pretty cool-looking symbols that we can put in. So the next one that I want to do is I want to put in these wings, and I'm just going to drag them. You see it gives me this green plus sign. Drop them on there. I want to make them a little bit bigger. Come out like that far. Come out like that. And make them come up just a little bit higher. Again, I can come over. I've got my line, and I'm going to horizontally align them, vertically align them. That looks good. I can again I can send it to the back so that it just kind of comes out of the back behind the stars. Pretty cool. Uh, I also like this little line guy here. It's a pretty cool guy. I'm gonna drop him in there, but he turned out a little too big. So I'm gonna scale him down. I'm gonna hold shift to make sure that I get a 
a, it all scales down at the same um, size, so I don't get it too skinny or too um, short. Okay. So once I've got that guy in place, I'm going to put one on the other side. So I can hit Option on my keyboard and just drag them over. I want to make sure that I got them lined up and I get that that green uh, line there and then also the other green line which says I've got them the right distance away but he's not facing the right direction. So with him selected I can come over to my rotate tool but click and hold down and now I've got the reflect tool and I can come over and I can reflect my lion and I think if I get it right at 90 degrees that's pretty much exactly where I want it. I think maybe I need to move them now a little bit more over that way. Perfect. Very good. Okay, the last thing I want to do is I just want to put in some text. I'll just put in my first initial and my last name. So I'm going to come down here, click on that. Uh, let's see what I want to do. I want to just do this, Mistral. And I want to make this size bigger, so you can click on that. You can see it only goes up initially to 72, but if you think you're going to want something bigger, you can just type in that and hit enter. And then when you type it in, it'll go in at that size. So again, I want to drag this down and try to get this centered as possible. Click on align up here again, and I can align it horizontally, and it'll put it over now. The one thing that you'll notice, if I click this vertical line, it doesn't really seem to always work as well because it actually makes this uh, bounding box uh, around my letter bigger than the letter itself. So it's not always going to work perfectly. So you may just have to eyeball it. And I think actually it's pretty much in the center. I think though that I want to make it, I think I want to make it a little bit bigger though. Maybe like that, and then I'm going to have to just kind of move it back down again. Maybe like, like that. You yeah, guys, pretty good. So there you go. There's my logo for my name, and a great kind of technique that you can use. Uh, but we could even add some more to it if we want. I could actually, I could come in and if I want to add some effects to my star, if I come down to my layers, I can look to see what thing I have selected. It adds this little uh, square and I see that I have my red star selected. I can come up to effects and I can do stylize and I'm going to add a drop shadow to it. and. That's probably fine. I'm just going to hit OK. And it's going to add in this kind of drop shadow behind that. I think that's pretty cool. I like that. So I think actually I'm going to do the same thing for all my stars, the blue stars. We'll see what happens when we do that. So I'm going to hit Effect. I'm going to hit Stylize. I'm going to hit Drop Shadow. Hit OK. Cool. I like that. Now I think I'm going to do the same thing to the wings and also to these lions here. Uh, put my that, uh, drop shadow effect on. Yeah, that looks good. So you can go through, you can add some different effects so it gives it a little bit more uh, a look of depth. Okay, So there's lots of effects in here though that you can use. Uh, feathering, inner glow, outer glow, rounded corner scribble. So feel free to take a look at these different effects and look at those. Um, you can also warp, and this uh, works a lot better with your text. You can warp your text and have it give it an arc, flag, a wave, different things as well. Uh, but there's lots of effects in here, very similar to some of the different effects that we have in Photoshop as well. So feel free, oh actually and these are called Photoshop effects. Right? So feel free though to come in and uh, take a look at the different effects that you can add to it as well. Right? So your goals for today is to create this um, logo 
for maybe your na name or initial, then with the goal of creating the logo that's going to go on to your superhero. Okay? All right. Have fun.